Hey and welcome, I'm your boy Solo. In this video, I'll be going over how you can set up and use predictions and polls in your Twitch chat. Before I waste any more time, let's jump into it. This is just going to be a short video going over the very basics. So let's go over to Twitch and log in to get started. Okay, once we're here, we can click on the avatar and go to dashboard or my channel. For this command, you only need access to the chat. There's many ways that you can do this, including in OBS or in Streamlabs chat, as it's built right into the software. You should be able to do it from any one of those. We're just going to go over to the creator dashboard. And actually, I'm going to go to the channel. From here, I'm just going to go over to chat. Uh, first one is just the Twitch dashboard or the, the My Channel because they're the most accessed and easiest ones to get to. And most people will have this here. Some people won't have things like OBS or Streamlabs. So I'm going to do it from the spots that I know everyone has access from first. And once you're here, uh, it's just as easy as going down here and typing in your chat. All you have to do is type in a slash and it'll come up with a bunch of commands. And to make it a little bit easier, we put a P. Now it's only going to have these two options, polls and predictions. So this will be super easy. You'll be able to, in online on the website, twitch.com, you'll be able to just slash P and then click the one you want. Unfortunately, on a phone, you are going to have to type in this command the full way. So you're going to have to slide, type in slash prediction. And then just like any other chat, we just hit enter. Once you hit enter, it's going to pop up with this here little window and it's going to give you a few options. Now, um, once you run a few, your most recent one will show up in here that you will be able to use. Or I think it'll have like a few of your different options and one you've, ones that you've previously run if you've just run one. So from this here point, there's only three or four options that you can go through. You name the prediction, so whatever it is like, um, well, I... Well, ZN Solo get more than three kills this match. Okay, that's a pretty easy one. And it can just be a yes. And then the bottom option can be a no. So it's as simple as that. And then you have a submission period, which you can put a pretty good time on it. Uh, depends on what you're doing. You'll, you'll probably want it more than 30 seconds. So I would probably leave it for two minutes to give everyone enough time. But if you're dying in less than that time, then you might, you might want to uh, put it down to 30 seconds. Unfortunate, but that's the way it is. And from there, you just click start prediction. Okay. And then it's going to give you this here, uh, confirm your prediction the streamer or mod will need to confirm the outcome within 24 hours of the end of it so you have to make sure that once it's over you have to click what one won like the result whether it was yes or no and a mod will have to do that or the owner will have to do that so perfect click the got it you can click the predict uh it'll cost you points to predict usually the person that makes it or the mod that makes it's not allowed to vote and or give the results afterwards so if your mod votes they will not be able to finish this for you they won't be able to pick what one won so if you want to be able to pick what one won the results you cannot vote so that being said the prediction started here out of the way well that one's going i'm just going to leave it until it ends i'm going to go over how to do polls as well so it's the same thing with a poll you just click slash p or you can spell it in if you're on a phone, you have to type it the whole way. And just like a normal chat again, you just click enter. This is going to bring up a lot of options and it will have previous ones used up in here. So you can click on them. A poll, what game should we play? That's an easy poll. And then you can put in a couple options. Okay, so it was just simple. Just what game should we play? And I put three, four options. Apex, Overwatch, Daisy, or New World. Some games I like playing. Um, there's extra additional settings down here to allow additional votes. I don't mind using this, but it would be your own poison. You can change your points and stuff like here in duration. Um, if I usually allow additional settings, I do it with bits. Then you don't have a bunch of people adding in a bunch of extra votes. And if they do, it's beneficial at that their point. But this here usually deters somebody from spamming the whole bunch of votes. Keep that in mind. Um, that might not be an option that you enjoy having on at all. And another thing is the duration here. You can just set it for one, two, three, four, or one, two, three, five, or ten minutes. Uh, that will be like again, it'll be the same thing. How long do you want the poll to go? Is this for a weekend? You can put it for ten minutes. You can have it go. Click your start poll. It's going to do the same thing. It's going to pop up here. You'll be able to pick your option and click your vote. Simple as that. A hundred people, 
Hundred percent of the people did that. The poll ended, or the prediction ended. So we're gonna go back into the prediction, start a goal, and see. It does tell you you can do goals as well. Um, I haven't done that yet, so I'm gonna have to cover that later on. We're just gonna go back into the prediction. Once you're in the predictions, it's going to allow you to manage the outcomes. Now this is pretty important because you have to do this after you run each one, or one of your mods is gonna have to do this, and they cannot do this if they vote. So you have to have a mod that's willing to participate but not be voting. And it's delete. You can click the summary. So the summary is going to bring up a page of how many people picked yes and no and stuff like that. The highest voter. And you get to choose your outcome. So right here you want to click whether it was a yes or no. So we're going to click yes because we're pretty confident. We definitely got three kills, didn't we? For the memes, we're going to click yes and complete the prediction. And it's going to give you the information. Are you sure yes is the correct outcome? Once you choose the outcome, viewers who have chosen that correct outcome will be awarded the... No one voted, so zero channel points. But it will tell you the number of total channel points. And the more people that vote, the bigger the pockets. And you can click the don't show again. I'm just going to click, click complete prediction. All right, now all the people that won will come up with a... Will have a little emblem beside their name that shows that they voted. And you can see the details and see who's the winner and stuff like that as well. And it will allow you to do both of these at the same time. You can have your poll and your prediction here so that you can click on them. And you can dismiss them once you vote and stuff like that as well. You can watch this here timer go down a little bit right here. Once that purple gets to the end, it will be all over. But that's really all there is to it for pools and predictions. You can set these up and use these in many different ways. I actually enjoy them for if I'm doing a gaming weekend and don't not sure what I want to play, I let the chat pick so that I can include some of my community in my games but that's all there really is to it there's only a few options and you'll have to be creative with it on your own and see where you go but if you think I might have forgot or left something out definitely leave it in the comments below if you like or found this video helpful hit the thumbs up and get subscribed for more content thanks for watching guys